Hello everyone, Morigana Who here, and welcome to episode 15 of Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bond. In last episode, we got all the golden statues of SpongeBob's consciousness and brought them back to the real world because that makes sense, I don't know. But now, we have entered to the kelp forest and apparently we're speeding up for them for some reason. Like, see, I think this. My second recording of the game, or some another recording. So I am, I actually am gonna have to get that socket gun which saw last episode, which I will play show for a bit. But yeah, welcome to the kill forest. This is the last time we'll see Miss Puff, but instead of searching for a bunch of kids who are flying by balloons or trying to get a bunch of artwork. Or try with Hello again, Mrs. Pop. Good job so far, SpongeBob. Okay, Mrs. Pop. Okay. As soon as I got into what my SpongeBob there. Yeah, instead of being a tiny little Mrs. Puff, we are rescuing the campers, which are well actually students because Well, Miss Puff is so scared of SpongeBob just screwing up to try and test some millions of times and just She's tried she tries to hide away from SpongeBob by doing a trial test in the kelp forest. Well, of course, SpongeBob finds her and awkward stuff happen. I don't know. But yes, here we introduce to two new robots. Here are these bots, which we saw at Mr. Krabs's Cross the Crab. Basically, they shoot lasers at you. Once they turn red, you get hit by them. And I really am taking a lot of damage by those three robots who are in full toys. But yeah, another new world which I just destroyed, destroyed a couple of seconds ago was those three robots that are in full toys. I don't know what they're called. Probably, probably called something. But basically, once you get near them, they'll create a swirling fire, flamethrower around them. And as you kill one of them, the top one will spin around and it will create an explosion around you, reviving that well you just killed. But if you kill all of them, you will successfully defeat them and get much sign objects. And see here, we did also got a cruise bubble. Oh, and they can use that quite well. As we d definitely need that for some socks in the level cut forest. So yeah, I think that's all I gotta say. So as always, we shall go out and explore the first area of Kelp Bond. Up uh, Kelp Kelp Bond? What the hell did that come from? <laughs> kelp Forest. Cause we could just go straight here and grab the golden special for ourselves, but here we got a lot of scientists and socks to find. So let's go out exploring into the unknown. Explore into the dark depths of the Kelp Forest. Where Miss Paul is apparently hiding away from. And speaking of campers, this one right here. There we go, we got six campers, or students technically, that I got fined. And oh, what's this? A Patrick Tita Tyler? Yep. This is a sp this is also, this is a level for Patrick as well, so. XC, we do need. We're gonna need Patrick Star to get some drawn specials and socks for entire time here. For now, we shall explore more of the kelp forest. Activate some leaf platforms here. I'm not sure where this leads us. I think it leads us to a sock or something. Here's another button that will raise that stem up a little bit, but enough so we can reach up to that platform. And now we gotta jump down here. So we can hit this button, so it can do the exact same thing. And that's where you find your second camper. So yeah, there you have to search really hard for if you want to find all these campers, as they they are hiding in very carefully placed spots. So yes, I will be showing where they all are. And no, let's switch to Patrick. Cause why not? I want. I feel like switching to Patrick now. 
so I think I'll be talking to Miss Puff somewhere or no no I don't know why I bought the post menu I actually didn't come take like ouch, nearly a month for after this footage was recorded so I'm not perfectly sure what I've done here so there you go, Patrick. Tita Tom! Yep. Basically, a Patrick platform puzzle that can be kind of hard if you don't know what you're doing. I believe this will either lead us to a sock or a camper. I think it will lead us to both. Who knows? So, oh, that's a checkpoint just in case you screw up. <laughs> And I just barely need that jump, jeez. I can see you going special, but we'll be gaining that just yet. Throw, throw the throw through there. Throw the throw through. Easy ton twister. Uh, even bin spot can go die in the fire. And there's where you can find your third camper. See, you gotta do some really. We got definitely. We do got explore. Just want to find all these campers. And there's a purple shiny object that I never ever been able to get. I see here. I'll try to, to grab this shiny object, which means wasting your time. I'm sorry. But yeah, these tickies just seem to know where the hell they want. But I think they do the same pattern. Just gonna. Carefully jump on these tickies and we avoid some post charger, but actually I failed to make a jump and I don't feel like trying again, so there you go. More biz butts, need to go and die. Bzz. And oh look a freezing food. This can't mean there's a sock sock in the water. Yep, there was. Nice no, just got uh, but I didn't really lose any health, so that hurting animation had no purpose. Anyways, destroy all the built bots. Again, uh, jumping from leaf to leaf. This is extremely boring commentary. <laughs> and that. So. Oh, yeah. I think it's where I come back to those just. Hi, Patrick. Sure thing. Ah, uh, yes, you do get different dialogue because you speak to Miss Puff as Patrick. But yeah, I think this is where I'll be switching to SpongeBob just to get that sock back that we got last episode. Because for some reason it didn't appear last time I did it in this episode, but I had to do it again just just because. So. Sorry, I understand showing it again, but there you go. Besides, you ain't notice. I got 73 socks. Seven more to go. Just seven. Just seven. Seven socks. That's crazy. And there's a reason why I'm switching back to Patrick. But for now, let's just make a slow walk back to the golden special because now we got now we're seeing all the campers in this area and we got all the socks in there. So, yep, let's head out to the golden special. Watch that's where the dude killed all the thousands there for um fathers. No, 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 no that's one of the big video game. Well, biz bots, uh, sappers, I. I can't even what the basic robot enemy is. I feel kind of sad for that. I can't stop doing that. There you go, our 68, no, 67th Golden Spatula. And I think we're gonna get more, well, actually, no, I don't think we're gonna get dialogue, like, mittensly, but. Here we are, we're in a second area to kill, kill for us. Let's see what this holds us here. Oh, look, there's Mr. Krabs. Let's see what he has to say. Hi, Mr. Krabs. What are you doing here? Ahoy, Patrick. I'm trying to return three stone tikis to this pedestal so I can get to the kelp cave across that bridge. There could
could be customers in there. I saw three tiki's scattered around this area, but me old brain couldn't figure out how to get them back up here. Can I try? Sure, why not? I need a good laugh. There's a golden spatula up there for you if you succeed. Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. Sorry, I haven't- I- Okay. So yes, we got another puzzle. There are three tickies in the whole area. We need to find all three tickies and place them all three on these pedestals in order to, to reach up that ledge so we can get that golden spatula. The first tiki was right there, but the other two tiki's are on other very far away parts of this place. So we gotta find those last two tiki's. I think the second tiki is actually right here. So yeah. And by the way, this is probably gonna be the hardest platforming section of the whole game. Personally, I think Kilt Forest is the hardest level of the whole game, only because of its platforming and a certain sliding ways we'll get to the layer. But anyway, just hit that, just hit that button, that will unlock that, will unlock the, that gold special there from its cage. Throw the freeze fruit on this water so we can quickly go around this, go around the corners and. Easily get our 68th golden spatula. Well, one away from the dirty number, but I'm not gonna. Oh, come on, it's just a number. Why do you need to throw six spins into it? Immature brats. But, anyways, lucky there's enough feet through there so we can go back to here. Um, go away, you. Stupid cowboy arc thing. No one likes you. Hey, look, there's a camper. Just die. Ouch. Yeah, some kids are walking outside the house, but that's not important. There's our fourth camper. We only got two more to find. I think those. Well, has to. Well. I'm not sure one, no one's here, but I see there we found our second tiki. Now here, you actually need to search for another bone that will be on another leaf platform that to get to that ledge there. But if you're really skilled, and really lucky like me, you can just easily make make that platform right there. Now, as I mentioned this, there's one thing that I don't like about this puzzle. And I really don't like. If you die, you gotta redo that whole. You gotta, you gotta redo that whole thing all over again. Cause if you die, all the tiki's will reset back to their original places, which means you gotta search for all three tiki's all over again. So essentially, you gotta do this whole area without dying once. Luckily, I only died once. No pun intended. So, I will be making one cart somewhere a few minutes from now. Now, welcome to the worst platform section here. You gotta time your double jumps very correctly in order to make this freaking thing. Cause if you die, like I said, if you die once, you gotta redo this all over again. Also, you got, but oh, but unfortunately. This horrible platform section is also where some secrets are being held. <sighs> Come on. So as you can see, you jump high on that high leap platform. You'll be taken out to these green cliffs here. That the main thing they just have nothing but Well I don't know what I'm saying. Nothing have robots and shiny objects and crates. But this is where that will activate the other lead platform that I asked. And oh look, there's where where I die. So I cut to, I cut to where to where I was because well I don't want you to watch that again. So 
And hold on, we gotta pay some more strength out just so we don't want to make it further. So instantly we got, we're paying for the third ticket because the third ticket is indeed there. And there's a bungee jump. That bungee jump will... Oh yeah, there's a second camper in this area. Warning, that bungee jump is not worth it. It only takes you to a few sh purple shiny objects and a funded tiki. It doesn't lead you to a sock or go on spatula. It's a total waste of time. So I see I go up this place again because I think I screwed up a jump which doesn't allow me to explore the whole of these cliffs. I can see there's tons of them. I can see there was that button I was talking about. Dow bring a leap not only platform to help you get a second tiki to those pedestals. Issue sure I know I didn't want to talking about. Well it'll show you right now. See there. We'll bring another one so you can make an easier jump. <laughs> now I believe I I just um nah. Yeah there you go. Right there there's another stuff there. So yes, you got with the tiki's for one bleeding sock. Completion! It's annoying! But hey, whatever. The things you gotta do. But anyways, now that we're, now that we're done with that part, we can now continue on with this. Yes, we can continue on with this. There's another arc robot with his evil dogs that can kill you in an instant. <laughs> okay, he's he's literally just throwing his his dogs into the water. What kind of pet owner are you? I see there. There's just a bunch of shiny. There's not worth it at all. Now, as you go down here. The, there will be a platform section that you may want to go through because the rewards will be well worth it. As you can see, let's jump with a bunch of these leaves and it will lead you to these robots, but it will also lead you to another suck. There we go, suck number 75. We only got five more. Just five. Only five socks. I can't believe we're nearly done the game already. It's incredible. But, anyways, well, if you go up here, you'll find a duplicate drone 1000 and the third and last tiki. So, yeah, you essentially gotta play a bunch of shiny objects in order to get this third tiki to get the one spatula. Um, this box can go and die. And it's a bust up if you want to change your spider up if you want to. So yeah. So yeah, I didn't since I died I didn't manage to get the second tiki bat, so I'm doing that right now. And now of all four tiki's on the pedestals, it should raise up a stand with leap platform so we can jump up to that golden spatula. Well done, son. Next time I need to round up customers for the Krusty Krab, I'll give you a call. Why would the customers want to be made round? <sighs> You're a strange one, you are, Patrick. He certainly is strange. But, anyways, let me change the SpongeBob because the next part of the level is gonna need SpongeBob. Well, and Patrick. And you can see here, yes, yeah, a bunch of shiny objects on the front of the TV. No special, really. But it's there. It's there. To really want it. To really want to waste your time. I see speed up mode engaged. So let's go and get our 69 golden spatula. The 69. Screw off. But anyways, bowling move is ineffective because it probably won't walk on stairs. I also don't get that. But anyways, let's, now let's go to the third part of Kilt Force, the Kilt Case, and Dialogue Incoming. Hey kid, I could really use your help if you had some time to spare. 
Sure, Barnacle Boy, what do you need? I'm trying to recover my lost energy crystals and power my new secret superhero power. It seems the robots have found my supply and have hidden them in this cave. Secret superhero power? Oh, what's it do, what's it do, what's it do? If I told you, it wouldn't be a secret, would it? Just trust me, it's worth finding these crystals. I'd go search it myself, but my bunions are acting up today. Well, then you rest those super bones of yours. I'll get searching for these crystals. I don't have all my crystals yet. I yes, I am. Okay, good to hear. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, Bunnock Boy wants us, us to find a bunch of crystals, which will make up an ear sound effect. But anyways, this is what we're going to do. I hope you enjoy episode 15. And in the next episode, we'll go out and find Bunnock Boy's crystals that power up his brand new superpower. I wonder what it could be. I will see you there, guys.